y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell and make sure y'all follow me on instagram and twitter at the hair life so y'all today's video is this bomb color that i did inspired by the fabulous and genius tiara monet you already know if you're not new to my channel that i love tiara monet and this color spoke to me so i had to recreate this color sis all right so let's get right into the video the hair that i'm using is from nandula hair and this is from their amazon store i will leave all the links the codes and all that good stuff down below i was really impressed by the frontal it was pre-plucked it was full it was soft you guys i love this frontal and it was full to the ends i had a 16 inch frontal with a 20 inch 18 inch and 16 inch bundles the bundles were soft there was no like beard sticking out it was full to the end so yeah i love this hair and i was just showing you guys how full the bundles are all right on to the fun part of this tutorial so i'm using quick blue bleach so what i'm gonna do is mix up some 40 volume developer on one side and then on the other side i'm going to mix up 30 volume developer now i got this method from tiara monet herself you guys um i pretty much kind of followed her tutorial but i just kind of tweaked it to how i wanted my hair i wanted a little less brown than she had and a little bit more blonde but um if y'all saw my tutorial on the red hair I will put that in the eye. I did the same bleaching technique to make sure that you get the dimension that you're looking for in your hair because nobody wants one toned, one dimensional color. Like you want it to have a lot of dimension. Also, when you're mixing up your bleach for this, make sure that it is a nice loose consistency so that it will spread evenly throughout your hair. So I'm gonna take this bundle and I'm going to separate this little small piece and put that over to the side. That will not be bleached at this very moment. So, so I'm dipping into the side with the 30 volume developer and I'm going to bleach bleach the tips of this hair but I did bring it up a little bit higher maybe like midway and you want to make sure that you do not place the bleach on straight across um, like turn your brush vertically and then do brush strokes so that it will not be a line of demarcation and really make sure that the hair is saturated with your bleach So to make sure that the hair is saturated, I turned it over and then I brushed through with this Ace VV brush. I will put the link down below. And like I said, I'm turning my brush vertically, making sure that the hair is nice and saturated. And then I'm just going to roll that up in some foil and let that process. All right, moving on to the next bundle, I'm going to put that little piece in the back to the side for now. Um, if you want your hair to stay brown, um, you can just leave it like that and not bleach it at all, but I will eventually end up bleaching that. So I have this sectioned off into three sections. So this middle section, I'm going to bleach with the mixture with a 40 volume developer. That other section that is to the right will be bleached with the 30 volume developer mixture. And y'all do not forget to flip over each of your sections and make sure that you put bleach on the other side and make sure that it's fully saturated because you don't want, you know, blotchy, little splotchy hair. Like that's not cute. We need to make sure that everything is saturated. Money. 
Okay, so here I'm just showing you guys by the time that I got done doing the second bundle, this first bundle was already turning. Like, do y'all see that? This hair took bleach so well, you guys. I like, I'm, I'm obsessed with this hair. It was amazing. So now I'm going to start on my frontal and I'm going to start off by parting it in the middle. And I was trying to like assess because I know my head is small, so I'm not going to need like the size, the very size of the frontal. So I was trying to gauge where the middle would be for me. So I'm just going to section that part off and then I'm going to bleach that first so that it will be much lighter than the rest of the hair on the frontal. Okay, so for the face frame and piece, I am using the 30 volume mixture for this first little bleach session. And you guys can see that I'm doing the same method, doing the vertical strokes. And I'm going to go kind of up towards the root, but not directly on the lace. Okay, so I rinsed my bundles out and now you guys can see I'm just going to take the whole entire bundle and I'm going to just slap that 40 volume bleach on it. So the parts that were already bleached will be lighter and then the parts that were not bleached to begin with will be like a really pretty brown color. So yeah y'all again Tierra Monet is a genius for this technique. It's foolproof and your color will come out bomb y'all just trust the process. Going back to the frontal, I am processing that face framing piece for the second time and I did put 40 volume developer on there. So I'm sectioning off my frontal and that bottom piece will not be bleached at all because it will be cut off when I finish my wig. So this first section, I'm bleaching that with 40 volume developer and I did end up just putting my uh, frontal on the mannequin head because it was a little bit easier for me. Okay, so you're going to take a section and you're gonna bleach that with the 40 volume developer um, then the next section, maybe you want to leave that brown. Then the next section after that, you want to bleach that with a 30 volume mixture. So this slice right here, I'm going to do a technique called weaving where you go in and out of your section. That section on the bottom, I think I bleached with 40. The top, I bleached with 30, you guys. You can customize this to however you want it to be, um, but make sure you do leave some brown pieces some dark brown pieces in there because the second time that I bleached this I just basically took larger sections and bleached 30 40 30 40 and then again just like the bundles that piece that you didn't originally bleach will be a nice brown color and then the highlighted pieces that you already bleached will be even lighter and it will just turn out so pretty so I did that to both sides of my frontal and then I will show you guys what it looked like when I rinse it out Also make sure that when you're doing this, do not bring the bleach up too high because you want that dark rooted area. It just really makes that face framing piece pop out a little bit more. Okay guys, so this is what the hair looked like after that first bleach session. And then I told you guys, I just slapped 40, 30 back and forth after this um i thought i was recording that but i think my camera ran out of storage so moving on to toning y'all look how pretty the bundles in the front to look it looks so good already without even toning it so i have wella charm toners t14 t18 and t35 so if you guys have not toned hair before 
What you wanna do is pour your toner into a container. You need 20 volume developer and the ratio is one part toner to two parts of developer. So you're gonna fill that bottle up twice with developer and mix that in with the toner. And you wanna make sure that you mix this up properly because if not, it will not do what it's supposed to do. And toner just basically tones out any brassy colors. It cancels it out. Okay, so in the first mixing bowl, I have the T14 and the T18, and then in this one, I'm putting in the T35. Again, mixing the one part toner to two parts developer, 20 volume, and you wanna just make sure that you mix it up really well. And when you mix it up, it's going to turn into like a jelly-like consistency. So now moving on to toning, instead of just uh, toning bundle by bundle, I stacked the bundles on top of each other. The 20 is at the bottom, 18 in the middle, 16 at the top. And that middle section, I believe I did T18. The left section was T14, I believe. And then the other section was T35. Y'all, toning the hair this way just gives you the ultimate dimension. Like you're already gonna have dimension from how you bleached it, but toning it like this, y'all. I'm telling y'all, Tiara is a hair guy. She's a hair genius. I would have never thought to do this, but it turned out so bomb. And I thought my camera was recording when I did the frontal, but y'all, I literally just took slice by slice exactly how I bleached it and went in between. So the first section I would take the T18, next section T35, the next section T14, all the way to the top, all over the frontal. And then I did use T14 on my face framing piece, but y'all, like the color turned out so bomb. So just follow these steps, you guys, and I promise you, you will have some bomb color. And I was just showing you guys right here that the mixture will turn purple. Um, and to gauge how long to keep your toner on, I can't exactly remember how long I left mine on, but when your hair turns a purple, 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 I can't talk, a purple color, then you will know that it is done toning. When I did rinse this out, I washed and condition the hair with shimmer light shampoo and conditioner it is for blonde hair and yeah just make sure you guys do that if you guys want to see how i installed the wig how i made my wig i already have a i have two frontal tutorials on my channel on how i sew and hot glue it with the fold over method so check that out i'll put them in the eye and the description box and then if you guys want to see how i installed it i would make a video on an install and styling video just let me know down below because i did use ghost bond and not got to be glue so yeah let me know if y'all want to see that and i would definitely do that i hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial honey don't forget to follow your girl on instagram and twitter at the hair life leave me some comments down below and i will catch y'all in my next video I'm so into you, for real, bread like I'm keen to you. If you a 10, I add 10 to you. They be mad when I 10 to you. That's what the pay like. Call me Buffy, cause that's what I slay like. These bitches, I sun them like it's daylight. These niggas wanna know what it tastes like.